Great marketing is all about your prospects feeling like you understand who they are and what they really want and need. If I don't deliver content based on what your biggest pain, fear, frustration, irritation, your want, need, or aspiration, right now you're bouncing and you're gone, right? Well, sometimes we wanna buy things that we want. Sometimes we buy things that we need. And sometimes we buy things that we want and need, uh, but we hate being sold. But do you think there is a formula that if you mastered the formula, you would be able to achieve at least a million dollars in revenue a year or more? Two million, three million, five million. Hi, Liv. Hi there, Liv Anderson. Hi there, Kay Marion. Hi there, Going Global from Nigeria. Horanjali from Australia. Camille, Camilan Vasales. Hi there, Kanan from Iran. Hi there, Mark from Espana. Nice. Hi there, Tessa from Australia. So the million dollar business success, I've got three core keys that when you understand them and then you apply them, application, right? That is really what it's going to take to build at least a million dollar business. Hi there, Steve from Toronto. I like your, uh, your marathon running there. Sharon, Alon, Shalom, Manishma, Erev Tov. Hi, Ghazala from Pakistan. Hi there, Deepak from Australia. All right, so let's have a little bit of, uh, yes, Kanan, I'm sorry that you're in war for your freedom in Iran. We'll sell lots, send lots of prayers and love uh, to you. So, hello, Jacques Benheim. As MRMA Realty, <laughs> nice to, uh, nice show. All right, so Byron Bay, beautiful spot, Emily. Love Byron Bay. I was actually there and in Malimbimbi. Okay, so let's have some fun. Uh, formula number one, I want you to type this into the chat, okay? I'm going to give you three different things that you must know, and then I want you to type it in the chat. If you're ready to do that, hit the like or the love button. Tell me, John, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. We've got people here right now from all over the world. Poland, war, what's the formula? Formula, I'm going to give you three parts to this formula. But formula number one, that you must, this is not a should, it's not a could, it's not a like to, this is a must. Ready? T times C equals R. So somebody type this in. I'll tell you what it means. T, T, like the letter T times C equals R. T times C equals R. Can anybody guess what the first formula is? T times C equals R. This is the beginning of the formula, okay, for building a million dollar or more formula. Not TH equals T. It's T, not 10, T. The letter T, T, the letter T times C. Ruth, way to go, T. What does the T stand for? What is the one thing I don't care what kind of business you are. I don't care if you're a coach, a consultant, a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. I don't care if you're selling stuff, you know, like mugs, gratitude rocks, or butterflies. I don't care what you're selling, program, product, or service. You must. Oh, Alexandra, traffic. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Is traffic another way to say uh, people that come into your store, people that come to your website, people that come to your social media page, people that see your ad, people that call traffic, 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 okay? Traffic. If you do not solve the problem that a million out of a million business owners have, and how am I going to get people to see my program, product, service, my offering, okay? You're lost right there at the beginning of the game. So traffic is something that you have to ask yourself, how am I going to get traffic every day, every week, every month, people to see what I have? Would you all agree with that first and foremost? If you don't solve that number one thing or your key performance indicator, traffic, how many people uh, are seeing what I have, right? All right, so that's number one. Now, traffic times C, C. And again, there's three parts to this and traffic times conversion 
is your second part, traffic times conversion. If 10 people see what you have, or if 10 people, okay, um, you talk to, your ability to convert them into paying customers equals revenue, right? So traffic times conversion equals revenue. Would you agree? And there's there's part two to this and a part three. So don't go now because I'm going to give you part two and part three. So would you agree that if you solved, how do I get more traffic? And then how do I convert, get more people, whether it's that land on my website, land on my landing pages, come to my webinars, come to my live events like this, um, come to a sales page, uh, are in front of me in an audience, my ability to convert those people, traffic times conversion, that is going to be your number one formula for revenue. And would you agree that if you don't solve that formula first, there's another next piece that I have for you. I've got three core pieces I'm going to talk to you about. So would you agree that if you have traffic but you don't convert them, there's a problem with the conversion or the selling part of it? Would you agree with that, yes or no? And Alexandra, you said you had 440 clicks from Lou and you only saw one sale. So you have a conversion problem, not a traffic problem. So every one of us, if you're a business owner, you need to solve that one problem is how am I going to get more traffic? Then we want to be able to convert more traffic into paying customers. Okay. If you all agree, hi, Sharon. Hi there, Bettina. Hi, Abid. Hi, Emily. So if you agree with that, let me go to the next piece. This is so critical for you, okay? Kanan, give me a second here. Pay attention, everyone. Christy, you don't understand it all, then maybe you should not be in business because that's your fundamental block for business. Okay. Great marketing and selling. Pay attention to what I'm about to share. Great marketing and selling isn't about people understanding who you are and what you do. Let me repeat. Great marketing and selling isn't about people understanding who you are and what you do. Pay attention. Great marketing is all about your prospects feeling like you understand who they are and what they really want and need. Pay attention to what I just said. Great marketing isn't about people, okay? Understanding what you do and what you have to offer. Great marketing is about you making the prospect feel like you understand them and that you have a solution to, pay attention now, I'm gonna give you a third one in just a moment. You have a solution to their biggest pains, fears, frustrations, irritations, wants, needs, and aspirations. Let me repeat. Great marketing is helping people understand that you know what their biggest pains, fears, frustrations, irritations, wants, needs, and aspirations. If you don't know how to get traffic and you don't know how to communicate so that they know you understand them and you can help them, they will not buy from you. Would you agree with that? Let me know with a like or a love or a comment that that makes sense. Think about this. There are billions of people on social media, right? There's lists that you can buy, okay, with the people who want what you need. There's Google advertising that you can do right now for people who are looking for what you have if you have a business, right? So the problem really shouldn't be traffic, even though there's a hundred different sources for traffic prospects. One of the biggest issues is number two, what I just said, is most of you, I'm going to jump on a limb here or off a limb here, saying you've never really learned the art and science of marketing, have you? Like the art and science of marketing. Hold on a second. Do you know much about the human brain? Do you know that when people see your landing page, when people see you on video, like you're watching me right now, you're actually activating different parts of people's brains. And there are parts of people's brains that causes them to pay attention to you 
instead of your competition or instead of scrolling on their reels or instead of you know going from this website to that website or this page to that page, right? If you don't understand how to activate the attention center of somebody's brain first, while they're being diverted into so many other possible choices every second of every day, you lose them because we're getting so many messages every single day. Text, social media, television, radio, our family, our children, our husbands, our wives. So the first thing you need to do is any message that you get them to see you have to activate the attention center of their brain so they pay attention to you. Then, okay, then you need to know how do you communicate with them so they know you understand them. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So first it's traffic, but then conversion or selling never happens unless you're able to build trust and rapport first and you know how to communicate in a way that gets and keeps people attention so that we as consumers, I'm a consumer, you're a consumer, stay locked and loaded on the attention. Did you notice in my, you know, in my headline, the million dollar small business formula? Now, we didn't have this appointment with each other today, did we? You were doing something else on social media and then you saw you know, the million dollar small business formula, right? And I got your attention and I got you to stop doing what you were doing to pay attention to me and now you're here. That's part one of the equation. Now, keeping you here, I've got to deliver some killer content for you, right? Because if I don't deliver content based on what your biggest pain, fear, frustration, irritation, your want, need, or aspiration, right now you're bouncing and you're gone, right? Does your marketing do that? Does your marketing do that? Because that's what you have to do. So if we have traffic and we have a way to get people's attention and keep their attention and lead them down a path that makes emotional and logical sense, emotional first, then logical, the emotional part of the brain, the limbic part of the brain, the limbic part of the brain sends a message to the logical part of the brain as to whether you should stay or go. It's not the logical part of the brain, the left prefrontal cortex it sends a message to the emotional part of the brain. So you need to understand just a little bit about neuromarketing. And if your marketing doesn't do that, people leave or people will watch and then head out of there, you know, to do something else because you're not keeping their attention. Does that make sense so far? There's an art and a science to this, of course, right? So that's been like 12 minutes of teaching. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Corinne. All right, so then here's number three, all right? Here's number three. And I've worked, I've coached God, about 10 and a half, 11,000 small business owners in the last number of years. And I teach them, you know, what I've learned in building five multi-million dollar companies. Here's number three. Let's have a, I don't know, a heart-to-heart, -heart, whatever you want to call it. Selling, selling, selling. You know that, that dirty word for some people, selling? What is selling? Like, let's talk about this. Before we talk about what is selling, would you agree with me that everybody wants to buy, but nobody wants to be sold, right? Everybody wants to buy. I want to buy. You want to buy, but you hate being sold, right? Would you agree? Now, what is it that you and I want to buy? Well, sometimes we want to buy things that we want. Sometimes we buy things that we need. And sometimes we buy things that we want and need, uh, but we hate being sold. Now, when is it that we actually do buy then? What causes that buy button in the brain to say, yes, I want, I need that, I want that. How much is it? Like, is it true that some people, when they're selling, you have your hands up like this and you're moving away from them? And for other people, you can't wait to hear what they're saying next. Like, show me, teach me, guide me. Uh, what do you have to offer? Isn't that true? Right? 
Right, so I'm getting a lot of yeses. Give me some yeses if you can, right? Is that true? So let's understand some psychology. First and foremost, when somebody is trying to sell you, don't you know, don't you feel, and you're like, what, what are you trying to sell me? You feel it, right? I mean, I feel it, you feel it. We have an intuitive sense, okay, that bypasses our logic, bypasses our emotion. We just know, like we, we like, whoa, right? we just know. So if it's true that we all want to buy, but we don't want to be sold, are there any neuromechanics, neuromechanics to get people to like, can you please share with me what else you have? Tell me about your book, your program, your product, your service, your coaching, your consulting, your teeth whitening. Like, tell, tell, like, tell me more because you've captured my attention and I trust you and I like you. So like, what else is there? Okay. All right. What else is there? Right. So here's my question. If we all want to be, you know, sold, but we don't we don't want to be sold. We all want to buy. Like isn't selling like real selling from a professional point of view, isn't it? How can I serve you? How can I take my program, my product or my service and serve you so that I can help you with one or more of your biggest pains, fears, frustrations, irritations or your wants, needs, and what you aspire to. If I can honestly help you, don't you want to know how? If my gratitude rock or my brain could help you, if my pen can help you, don't you want to know a little bit about it and, and then you know, uh, show me how to get started? So ask yourself a question. Do I have enough prospects? Do I know how to communicate with them so that I can gather their attention and build trust, rapport, and make sure that I speak to their biggest pains, fears, frustrations, irritations, wants, needs, and aspirations, boom. And at the right time, can I offer them a way to help them? Isn't that what selling really is? So, so far we've talked about traffic times conversion equals revenue. The art of great marketing is for people to feel you know and understand them. And the art, part three of selling is let me show you how I can help you with what it is that you need. It's not difficult, is it, when you think about how do I get better at that? How do I get better at that? Now, Lindsay, you say you're helping or you're serving more people. Now, is selling a skill also? So there is flea marketing selling. Flea marketing selling is you put all your stuff on the table and people walk by and you hope that they pick something up and go, how much is that? But selling them, right, is a skill, right? And you can be skilled at an amateur level, or you can be skilled at a pro level, right? So how do pros sell? How do pros sell, right? Don't pros know how to share information with clients or prospects so that the client says, I want that? I want that. Everything that I do and teach my clients from beginners all the way through to more seasoned business owners is A, know how to get more traffic or leads using paid and non-paid ways. B, how to create marketing that captures attention and keeps people engaged. And then C, how to transition, okay, to uh, an offer that's irresistible that people say, yeah, I would like more of that. And what are the language patterns to do that? Hey, this is John, and if you liked that video, watch the next video because it is packed with things that you can do right now to achieve success way faster than ever before.